What a fucking asshole. Piece of shit. So I noticed the other day, I was driving my car around and I was getting a lot of smoke coming from under the hood once I reached operating temperature. And the smoke was coming from, I wanna say like under the exhaust header. So I started looking for a leak anywhere I could find one on the valve cover gasket area. That would be most likely the chance that something's leaking down and getting all over everything. But as you can see back here in the back, there's all this kind of smuts and soot, all that oil. That's coming from the CAS, the CAS or the cam angle sensor. On a 1.8, it's on the driver side. On a 1.6, it's on the passenger side. The main problem with this thing leaking is obviously you're gonna see smoke. Worse than that, if it continues to leak, you're gonna lose oil, burn up your motor. The main issue though is that it's gonna get down between the block and the transmission bell housing and get all over your clutch. Now you may notice your clutch slipping when you're trying to do drag racing or burnouts or whatever. Before you do a clutch, check that. If that's leaking, it could be 99.9% .9 of your problem. And after you do the CAS O-ring, you can spray the back of the block with like two, three cans of brake cleaner. Let it all run and flush down. Make sure you spray the bell housing real good where the bell housing meets the block right between the firewall here. Just spray straight down. Even if you can get up underneath it with the hose on the can and kind of spray up in there. That will help run some of the oil off of the clutch plates and help dry the clutch. So you'll actually get better clutch bite. Then after a few hundred miles if your clutch isn't biting like it used to then go ahead and do a clutch but definitely always check that first i got this one from ace hardware it was like two dollars and eighty cents you can get them cheaper if they are cheaper though check to make sure it's not just a silicone o-ring you actually want viton o-rings they feel a little different they're kind of like have an oily texture to them these are designed for oil and petroleum based applications so the O-ring should last you more than the life of the car, at least the motor. If it took 160,000 miles for this O-ring to go bad, then I'm pretty sure it's gonna take at least that long for the new one to go bad. You might wanna do your valve cover gasket as well. If you see oil on any of your spark plugs when you pull them ever to do a tune-up, you definitely have a leak on the valve cover gasket where it seals around the spark plug. So you're gonna wanna change the valve cover gasket since it's coming off anyway. I think mine's fine. I don't see any leaks anywhere. Obviously, once I pull this off, off and do this o-ring and put it back together i'm sure i'm gonna have some kind of leak because you do still need to silicone gasket around the cam and around the cam sensor so hopefully there's no leaks after i do this i'm going to try and do it the cheap way and just do the o-ring since that's the only leak i see i also forgot when i put my center console back together with the ipad to plug in the pop-ups and hazards wire connector so now my headlights are permanently up and my hazards don't work because the switch isn't connected, so they don't go up and down, they just come on and off. So I'm gonna have to do that. That'll probably be a project for tomorrow. I've got the guy coming to do a deposit on the rear differential. So that's gonna get done probably later today or tomorrow. And then we'll have a video on that. I also have a plate of aluminum that I'm gonna make a template out of cardboard to make a switch panel at the top of the windshield above the mirror. So I'm gonna make a cardboard template and then I will trace it onto the aluminum sheet and then bend it up and mount it and then run the wires and all that stuff. So, so that video will be coming soon. Look out for that. Lastly though, the Harley is still up. We've extended it until the end of January. Be sure to click the store link in the video description below. Check out all the info, share the info with friends, grandpas, uncles, older dudes are gonna love this bike. It's a collector's item. It's a vintage 1954 Harley. $20 gets you entered into the raffle and one in 1,000 people that enter will receive this mailed to their house anywhere in the United States. So check out the link below. Let's get the LS1 swap done in the Miata. The only way I can do that is to raffle this bike. So. Help us get to a thousand. The guys that have already paid, sorry for the delay. You still have your $20 though. If we don't sell a thousand tickets, you're getting your $20 refunded. If we do get a thousand sales, then you're entered into the drawing. So please spread the word. Like if you liked, subscribe if you want. And as always guys, keep on modding.